This is Twit. Take a look at Disney's park in Orlando. They placed a $2 billion bet on Magic Band. Now, what is Magic Band? Quite simply, Magic Band is a rubber wristband that has an RFID chip and a 2.4 gigahertz radio and a battery with enough power to last for two years. Now, it will fill out your itinerary ahead of time if you, if you participate in the Magic Band Magic Express, and then everything is taken care of uh, for you. For example, if you put this thing on as, you, as you're boarding your plane from, from wherever you're coming from to go to the Magic Kingdom, you touch down at the Orlando airport and your luggage is automatically routed to your hotel. You board a shuttle that takes you to the park, but you don't have to pay or hunt for confirmation numbers on your phone. You get to the park, you walk straight through the gate without tickets. You don't need cash or a credit card because your magic band is linked to your credit card. Now, Disney has already figured out the best way for you to enjoy your day without walking back and forth because you filled out that initial questionnaire of what rides and restaurants you were interested in. So it tells you you should do this, this, and this so you don't have to walk all over the park. Now, you walk straight up to the rides that you've reserved, you bypass the lines, you show off your little magic band, and you, you walk right aboard. And when you want to eat, like, for example, at the BR Guest Restaurant at the center of the park, you go across the bridge. And by the time you cross the bridge, there's a server there who welcomes you by name and tells you to take any seat that you want because your food, which you pre-ordered, will just find its way to you. That's what Disney is doing with the Internet of Things. Now, we could sit back and say... That is a gross violation of every sort of privacy. You've linked a band to something that is inherently insecure. You've given all this personal information to a company that will probably mine the heck out of it. But, Chibert, my question to you is, is, did Disney figure this out? Did Disney figure out that we are willing to take that kind of a security risk, that kind of an Internet of Things Kafka-esque nightmare, if it means that everything just works? Well, the Magic Kingdom... In, in my opinion, is all about showmanship. Mm. And if things magically happen, it's the magic of Disney. So, you know, several generations are pre-programmed to have magic happen in the Disney world. Now, you keep in mind, Disney's already been doing some things. So you see in this video, they're actually scanning your fingerprint. Disney has been scanning your fingerprint for a heck of a long time. Mm -hmm. They're just stepping it up and making more of the details invisible. I actually sent this off, uh, this link off to you and Curtis, but Curtis and I are thinking, wow, if I manage to make it to Infocom in June, I'm going to get myself a magic band and give it a try because, you know, I really don't want to have to fuss around with a lot of long lines. In fact, one of the things the story goes on to say is they have the ability that if you're sitting in line for too long, Disney will start automatically, magically making discount coupons or free <laughs> rides or stuff magically appear. And isn't this what a lot of consumers really and truly want? They want the technology to work for them. They want the technology to be customized for them. And if Disney follows their previous policies, Disney so far doesn't seem to have really abused the data they've been gathering on on you. I've been to Disney World and Disneyland many, many times, and I actually don't even get spammed by them as a result of those trips. I get spammed by them because I've signed up for other Disney things. 